everybody welcome to another episode of my Disneyland makeup tutorial series where I show you guys how to make Disneyland inspired makeup looks in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to make Disneyland's Indiana Jones ride oh my most favorite ride indeed to exist in all of Disney universe I love it a lot. But if you already watched my 50 Facts About Me tag, you probably already knew that. Moving on, before I show you guys how to recreate this Indiana Jones inspired makeup look, I have some fun facts for you guys on the ride. My first fact is open March 3rd, 1995. I actually still have my Disneyland annual pass holder passport for when they open the ride. Here is what it looks like. Oh. Yeah, I'm surprised I still have this, but little four, three, four-year-old me is on the back of it, and I guess that's what they used to do, was put new rides onto their pass holder pass, so that's pretty cool that I still have it. Especially considering how much I love the ride. As an aside, I'm sorry if I'm talking weird or not really moving my lips. It's because I have a canker sore once again and it's right by my lip piercing, so it's rather unpleasant. So I apologize if I'm talking kind of like a robot or someone who doesn't have lips and doesn't know how to speak. My next fact is from conception to completion the ride took about seven years to create and over 100 million dollars. The Mercedes vehicle you can see in the ride's queue is an actual prop from the Raiders of the Lost Ark movie. There are over 160 thousand ride experiences thanks to the ride's operating system which mixes the timing of their special effects. Inside the ride, there are over 168,000 square feet of hand-carved surfaces. The ride and queue surroundings contain over 2,000 replica human skulls. Now I did say replica. Located inside the Indiana Jones ride is a skeleton that will occasionally support the little classic Mickey Mouse ears. And on the back, if you look closely, his name is Bones. On other Disney rides, animatronic characters are often built and then dressed in their clothes. But Indy, to make him look more lifelike, his clothes are actually built in as part of his body. The Indiana Jones Adventure Ride is so large that when Imagineers first introduced the ride idea and specifications, the management team told them that the only place large enough for them to build this ride was in Tomorrowland. Because Imagineers wanted to place the ride in somewhere that made sense, like Adventureland, they decided to build part of the ride's show building in an old employee parking lot. This means that the show building is actually outside of Disneyland's original boundaries. This is also why the queue for the Indiana Jones ride is so long, about a half a mile to be exact. The queue even passes underneath Disneyland's railroad train tracks, which is located above the spike room. I hope you guys enjoyed some of these fun facts. Without further ado, let's hop right into this tutorial. Hey everybody, to save some time, I already applied my foundation. I used Kat Bondi's Locket Tattoo Foundation in Light 42 Neutral with a knockoff beauty blender that I got from Target and I just pressed that onto my face like so and to set everything I used Too Faced Primed and Poreless Loose Powder. The first thing we're going to do is contour so to do that I am using Maybelline's Master Highlight and putting that on with a Kabuki brush this is just going to lay out where I want my a more extreme contour in the future but just contour where you normally would your cheekbones your temples underneath your jawline you know the basics mm -hmm. 
Now I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side and I will be right back. Next, take an angled brush and pack on some Like It Dot from the Minnie Mouse palette and put that where, again, you would normally contour. We are going for an extremely bronze statue look, as you can see here with this example picture of the idol. But do not look into the eyes of the idol, for that would be dangerous. Now to not look like a complete crazy person, you're going to want to blend out your contour like thusly. You're just going to want to do the same contouring on the other side of your face and now that I am looking really crazily bronzed I am going to take some like a dot and using an eyebrow brush and eyebrow spoolie we're just going to pack that on to your eyebrows I am using a lighter hand at the front of my eyebrows and kind of pulling upwards but the rest of my eyebrows I am just pecking it on pretty heavily as you can see here my eyebrow routine is pretty basic, I definitely wouldn't call it anything special, but I wanted my eyebrows to match the theme of this makeup look. So next, I am taking Pick Me Up at 8 and just adding a little bit more dimension to my eyebrows by adding this color underneath and into the arch and tail end of my eyebrow. Now I'm just taking the spoolie in and combing through my eyebrows just to fix my eyebrow hairs and blend the two colors together. Next it is time to highlight. For that I am using Too Faced Candlelight Glow as well as the Kabuki brush and just patting that onto the cheekbones. I am packing this on very densely and heavily because I want to go for that bronze statue look. So you're just going to want to keep applying and this will also help blend out your bronzer from earlier. So again, I'm just packing onto my cheekbones, my chin, and my forehead, and then I'm going in with a smaller eyeshadow brush to get the more finer details such as the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. Now I am taking my beauty blender that I used earlier to apply my foundation and just helping to further blend everything together just to make everything look less stark and contrasting. Moving on to my eyes, I am taking Pick Me Up at 8 in a fluffy eyeshadow brush and densely packing that on to the lids of my eyes. Or my eyelids, whichever one you want to go with. Once I have that packed on, I am also going to drag that underneath my eye, as you can see here. To further deepen up the crease, I am just taking more Pick Me Up at 8 just to help define that and give my eye a little bit more dimension. Taking it, put a bow on it, I am using this to blend out the edges of the eyeshadow. To continue with the bronze theme, I'm taking some like a dot and packing that on to just my eyelid, nothing more, to help give my eye a little bit more dimension and I'm also putting that in the middle of my lower eyelid. I'm going to be taking a red carpet arrival and putting that into my inner corner of my eye to highlight there as well as my eyebrow bone. Now repeat the same thing onto your other eye, and like magic, I am back. To represent the fire, you see in the right, I am taking Miss Minnie and just dragging that underneath 
my lower eye underneath where we had put pick me up at eight. This will also give a nice background and a little bit more color dimension when we add the vines in later on. Taking put a bow on it, I'm just using this to blend out the edges of the Miss Mini. Ignoring the vines on my left eye, I'm going to be showing that to you guys later. I'm taking my NYX Collection Noir Liquid Black Liner and beginning to line my eyes. I wanted to create a cat-like Indian sort of vibe with my eyeliner, so I extended a little part onto my nose and now I'm just doing a basic cat eye for the rest of my eye, as you can see here. I'm not really sure how to explain this further, but, but just watch, just watch. Hopefully, hopefully it makes sense. Backtracking a little bit, I decided I didn't really like how I did the front of my eye on my nose. I wanted to make it look a little bit more swirly, kind of like the end of a snake tail, since cobras are a persistent theme on this ride. Now you're just going to want to replicate this cat eye onto the other eye. Now that that is complete, it is time for the vines that you can see throughout the ride. To do this, I'm taking Maybelline's Eye Studio in the color brown as well as an angled brush. If you look above the loading dock, you will see all those vines up hanging up above and I'm going to be using that picture as reference when I'm doing the vines on my eye. First, I am drawing two vines that kind of swoop across but don't hang down. I don't really know why, I just thought it would look better if I did that first versus just a bunch of lines hanging down from my eye itself. Once I have those two swooping vines to my liking, I am just now drawing some curvy lines down from that reference point. As you can see, I drew some with a lighter hand and some with a darker hand. This is to help give your vines some dimension to show some on the foreground and some on the background. You're also going to want to make some of these vines thicker and some of these vines thinner, again, to add dimension and show some in the foreground and some in the background. The very last step I took to add further dimension to these vines is, is curving some of these vines all the way across the lines to mimic what I did on my other eye. So off camera I put on this mascara, nothing too special about it. And I'm again taking my next collection noir black liquid liner and just adding two dots onto my eye kind of to make maybe like a cobra bite or something like that. I just liked it so I added it. Now onto the final step, my lips. So I'm taking Lime Crimes Velveteen in Cashmere and applying that as my base for my lips. While my lipstick is still wet, I am taking Miss Mini and using my finger to dab that directly on top. complete this lip look, I am taking some like a dot and placing that directly on top of Miss Mini to further incorporate all the bronze elements and make just one big giant happy bronze family. Here is the completed makeup look! To 
for their enhanced makeup look, I added a wig to cover my blue hair as my blue hair didn't really go with the Indiana Jones ride theme of mainly brown and gold. And I also added a Indiana Jones-ish hat as well as a septum piercing to give that more Indian vibe that you can see throughout the ride. I'm extremely happy with how it turned out, so yeah! I hope you guys enjoyed that makeup tutorial and everything made sense. I did have some issues myself when doing this makeup tutorial. At first I wanted to inco incorporate a cobra into my makeup look, however every time I tried to figure out a placement for the cobra it either became too complicated for me to make a cobra look like a cobra, because it sometimes came out looking a little bit like a sperm, not gonna lie. <laughs> Or it just didn't really make sense with the makeup look and it looked kind of like an awkward cobra just hanging out on my face. If you've been on the ride, you will notice that there is a very constant theme of cobras, so that's why I wanted to incorporate a cobra so badly, but unfortunately that did not happen. But if any of you guys can draw a freaking cobra on your face, I'd give you two thumbs up. And if you have any pointers for me on how to draw one of those cobras, hit me up because I cannot do it for the life of me. If you guys enjoy this Disneyland ride makeup tutorial series, please give this video a like and comment down below what ride you would like to see in my next video. Also, if you guys have not and you would like to see my face again, please sub down below. I would love to have you in my little friend family. Ah, hello there. This mug is flaming. I hope your week is filled with some Disney magic. And I will see you guys in the next video.